Well, hello everyone. You hear you talk about right here. I'm talking about for now hiring right here, and uh, you see right here. I'm talking about uh, for Apple computers, right? But you know, how do we usually handle that uh, whenever it comes to uh, you know you you start asking questions after you get the job? So let's just say that after you get hired, then maybe you're going maybe uh, wondering about all the work that you're going to be doing, and maybe all the work that you're going to be assigned to do. And it sure seems that way that the uh, like everybody else might even say that, you know, based on your experience, that the, you see uh, a lot more detail once you're, you know, after you're hired and maybe after you start to doing the training process and everything. And, and a lot of times it sure seems that way. It's all about the fact about, you know, about how much uh, stress and anxiety that uh, you'll wind up, um, you know, man, you know, deal with me, right? And uh, so that's why it sure seems that way that, um, that, you know, whenever it comes to uh, being hired for a job, that uh, maybe the next question is maybe going to be advised as to where that, uh, you know, have you been able to hold on to a job for at least five or ten years? And, uh, I mean, how many want to know how many managers are really going to be asking that type of question to where that about, uh, you know, the type of job, uh, you know, based on your experience that, um, that what's... Uh, the source of employment, you know, what's the longest period of time that you've been able to hang on to a job? And uh, I say, you know, some people may say up to six months to a year, but it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, really, does that really have to be a question or if that's really like, more like a, a scenario? And uh, so at the time, it's like, yeah, that uh, whenever you're going to be working any sort of job, really, that uh, you realize about how much stress and anxiety uh, that you're under whenever it comes to doing certain work and performances, right? And uh, so that's why it's like um, that you're always maybe wondering to where that, uh, you know, really, I, don't, I really don't, would like to, to know that uh, to where that, you know, why did I apply to this for this job? So, yeah, so it sure seems that way that when we... Um, when we ask those sorts of questions, do you want to go ahead and maybe put that into a scenario or maybe like a, a question or something like that? Like, you know, why did I even apply to where that you know, did not realize how hard it was? Yeah, or you can say how difficult. But it sure seems that way that, uh, that, you know, do we want to look at that more like, you know, why did I even apply? You know, why did I even, I'm like, yeah, so, so a lot of times it's like, uh, whenever you do uh, apply for a job that you uh, send in your resume, right? But by half the time, though, you want to know too that, uh, with that resume, that resume that you fill out, along with the application, let's just say maybe if it is, going to maybe two or three different uh, offices or something like that. And so, so, yeah, so let's just say that, that uh, you know, for that reason, that uh, the hiring point where that, uh, you know, like I say, that, you know, there's something about you that they need. So it's like, uh, you know, yeah, so, you know, so, um, so I guess one thing that we can say is to where about the, you know, the employment status is to where there, there um, is um, something, um, about um, what um, you do that the company needs. So it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, uh, you know, yeah, like everybody else might say that, you know, you don't really even remember filling out an application or maybe for any reason that, the, you know, how is it that, the, that this company was able to contact you in regards to a job opportunity or the domains. I'm like, oh, yeah, talk about for the domains. And um, what I mean by domains, though, I mean by is that um, the needs them by the domains. And um, what I mean by is that uh, to where the, all the, the tasks and responsibilities that, uh, that you're going to be assigned to do, right? And uh, that, that's why it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, if you, I'm like, I can go and just write on here, talk about the level of skill. So it's like, you know, the level to where that uh, all measured by is, is to where that uh, does it go by like between 40 to, 
maybe you know 57 percent chance that uh, you know you'll get a a call back if everything for what they're looking for matches with what's on your resume and then anything about your experience and your know, stuff like that so it sure seems that way that every time we think about employment status a lot of times that uh that you want to know too is to where that uh that you know whenever you do uh, you know, maybe after your first year on the job or maybe if you have you know whenever you first apply for the job that seems like that you have a uh, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, yeah, a lot of, uh, yeah, anxiety, stress and anxiety, and also uh, that another way, if you want to kind of cause this, to wear a lot of pressure also. So it's like whenever you do start working at another job, and it's like, you know, it seems like everything's just so totally different than what you're used to. So that's why it sure seems that way, that um, that when everybody else may be thinking as to where that whenever you're going to be starting a new job, that think about your favorite, you know, think about... um. Think um, about um, your favorite. So, like, for in, for any instance, though, that um, your favorite could also be about is this tour that you know, you uh, you whenever the company they serve lunch around eleven, yeah, yeah, they serve a l- lunch around eleven a.m. or something like that. So let's just say that if you were to pick up just one favorite thing that you like about about your job you know besides like anybody say besides a, a paycheck or anything but you know still that uh if you were to write down like a any source of a list though about the things that you do like about working somewhere and and uh, maybe uh you know maybe one or two things that uh, that you're know, not considered your favorite or for any reason at all that uh, you realize about how difficult it is and um so that's why it's like why don't you just pick one favorite but um but a lot of people would say is to where the top up for the higher domains and um so anywhere you're going to be applying to there sure seems that way that how do you answer that question whenever it comes to uh, whenever you first start working on something and you don't realize how much work that's being at as you know beyond higher demands uh, to word it whenever you after the first two hours after you uh, start working and then that you one oh two that you know, yeah well if you can handle this or if you can handle that and uh, but it sure seems that way that every time we think about a job though that it's like yeah you know uh, really that uh, a lot of things that maybe you don't really want to look forward to maybe a few things. That uh, that really just came up unexpected or something like that. So, so when we think about employment, though, right? We're also talking about is that uh, the yeah. What we're also talking about if there's any problems and any tools and techniques and anything like that that somebody would uh, need to know about and try to understand and all that. But you know, still, it sure seems that way. That, uh, you know, really, does that really have to be a question to where, that why you apply for this job or, you know, why, how you got the job. And so it's like, you know, you realize uh, about how stressful it is and then maybe how tiresome it is. And uh, so that's why it sure seems that way, at least that name, one thing that you look forward to uh, whenever, at least uh, after three weeks uh, of, uh, of hard work or maybe if it's six months after the hard work or something like that. So, like, a lot of times, it's like, yeah, looking forward to the promotion, if it's promotions and special awards or anything like that. So, almost every time we think about, um, you know, yeah, when, when we think about uh, starting a job, that uh, it's like, uh, you'll want to know, too, that, um, that uh, whenever you first start working a job, that it's like, uh, you know, yeah, not everything... Is going to be explained on uh, the job description, and so that's why it sure seems that way. That um, you know, we may want to know too that on the job descriptions, that uh, you know, they would not say something like, you know, stay busy, stay busy, because we uh, need um, this done. And then another way of how you want to call it cause is to where to talk about another way of how you want to call it finished. And uh, anybody want to know too that, you know, yeah, well, finished means is to where that, uh, that, you know, at least, um, you know, at least, uh, you know, 85% of the work uh, has been done, right? And uh, so that's why it's like uh, the work um, has, um, 
has or have been achieved. And uh, so it sure seems that way. Every time we think about an application, though, and uh, you want to know, too, that, um, that whenever you first started uh, working a job, uh, that uh, you, know, you, you asked, we, uh, what was the first thing that you may have seen whenever you were at first, uh, you know, yeah, about the job description, especially. So, so a lot of times it sure seems that way that, um, that you know, whenever you do uh, get real busy on uh, maybe multiple tasks and maybe certain things that you were working on, and it sure seems that way. That, uh, you know, yeah, that, uh, that we are the hardest part, of course, is about the fact about, um, that whenever something takes a lot longer than expected. So, like, let's just say that if you do, uh, you know, yeah, a lot longer than expected. So, a lot of time, yeah, like, if you were to set a timer to work, you know, yeah, five hours. It took you five hours to work on this, and let's just say... If you were to multiply that, maybe times 10 or something like that. People must say that, yeah, if you try to multiply that times 10. Uh, and uh, 102, that, um, multiply that times 10. What, what, is, what does that really configure whenever you do that? And uh, you 102, that, uh, you know, 5 hours times 10, you know, I'm like, a, a, maybe the, you know, the amount of days or if you want to kind of cause this toward it. Yeah, those... Those are in between shifts as to where if you're going to be working a job and let's just say if you work a little bit during it, the morning and then uh, you, yeah, and then uh, go home and do stuff and then you come back to work and you go back to work that night or something like that. So at the time it seems like that, you know, I really don't know if we all really keep any sorts of chart about that or anything about our work hours. But I tell you one thing that, um, that uh, the way we were to write that on a type of math problem, though, that it will go by is toward a five hours times ten, right? And like 85% of the work uh, that was accomplished, right? And uh, so at the time, it seems like that the first thing that we think about, if you're going to be working for an actual computer company, though, uh, that is uh, mainly about the speed of the process. So it's like, yeah, that uh, it sure seems that way that um, they're testing you know, the speed, they're asking you how fast that you are in the getting the job done and uh, how fast you are of taking care of something. And uh, so a lot of times you may get that to where that, uh, that whenever you're going to be working on something and uh, they're going to ask you about how fast you are and just be able to get the job done. But but half the time you want to know too that uh, there's I'm like, yeah, so far as the higher domain that uh, whenever it comes to working a job that... Uh, that uh, you have managers and then you also have co-workers or clients or anybody like that who's maybe going to say that, uh, you know, yeah, well, really, that um, that uh, they're on a, on a deadline and they're trying to get uh, this work done and they're trying to uh, get as much accomplishing. I'm like, yeah, if they're, if they're getting run behind on schedule a lot of times and they're going to say, that, you know, we want this done in, in five hours or, again, you know, three days or something like that. So it's like, um, so yeah, you know, five, um, and most of the time that's usually what I hear too. That uh, maybe the reason why uh, that uh, whenever you first start working a job, that uh, if it's uh, your three, um, three days, and if you want to, yeah, plus... Um, Three days plus, uh, I can go ahead and put that in like a little uh, mathematical type problem here. Three days, three days plus uh, five hours. So if we were to actually put that into a word problem, no, and uh, 102 is to where that, uh, yeah, does that really give you enough time to get, I'm like, yeah, like anybody say that, uh, you know, really, that, um, if whenever you first start working, even on a project, though, do we, uh, you know, have we really done the studies about that to where that, that you know, is three days and five hours a real fast speed than compared to maybe other times to where if you're going to be working on any sorts of assignment or a project or something like that, that do you think that maybe three days and five hours is a little bit too much, you know, time to ask for, or if you think that's really just not enough or something? 
And if I were to actually do the calculations, you know, would that be about maybe would that be seventy four hours, something like that total, something like that? But I'm like I, I really don't, <laughs> yeah, a calculator. But um, so, but I would say about seventy seventy four hours altogether, something like that. But you know, still. But the way we calculate that though is that uh, knowing that um, that yeah, you know. Um, why does that seem like a further away than compared to, uh, like anybody say, is toward if you got a lot of things going on at the same time, it sure seems that way that people say that, you know, I want this, you know, yeah, I want this done in an, you know, in a half an hour or something like that. But still, but it sure seems that way that, um, that each time we think about a job opportunity, though, that do we necessarily think about that to where, that, uh, you know, for how well that you're able to overcome task. And uh, let's just say that, um, you know, if you are able to get uh, a lot of things done within three days' timing, and uh, it sure seems that way, especially on a job assessment, then why do you think that maybe, you know, very much of anybody would be paying attention to that? So far as, uh, you know, yeah, if, if they give you at least a week, you know, to work on something, 102, that... Uh, that, uh, you know, from all the work that you've been doing, and a 102 that, uh, you know, you want to know too that why you even signed up or why you even got the job because of all the stress and anxiety that you're having to deal with. But at the same time, though, it seems like it's like you kind of like, you know, just, you know, it's a company that they test you for what you know and train you for anything upcoming or something like that. But, but the way I think about it too, though, that when we speak about jobs, though, that a lot of everybody else might say that uh, that's not really considered a job, really, because you know you were really just volunteering, or maybe if it's a seasonal job or something like that. But really, though, that um, you know, what nickname do you think that we would have for a job? To where that yeah, yeah, well, you'll still you'll still get a little you know earnings for doing that job, right? But what's the nickname that we may have? for this type of job opportunity and let's just say that if you were hired just right off the bat if you were hired right off the bat to where that um you know favor for honor or something like that or you know like in case of anybody that may want to too uh, that that uh, you know if you am like you know jab or something like that. but you know still that um you know what, what's a nickname that we have uh, for this type of job right here and i can maybe say that uh the uh, you know, infinity you know, the infinity in uh, marketing or something I, I can just I I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm like yeah you know, infinity may be uh, used for a variety but I'll just go ahead and say you know, affinity um the affinity um the affinity yeah the the affinity pro or something like that I'm like uh, so really, that the, if, so if that was supposed to be like a name for any sort of group or something like that, like maybe if it's a Zoom call or something like that, the Affinity Pro is the name of, of this group on Team or something like that. And so you're one oh two that uh, that whenever you do, whenever we think about that, you know, the, a lot of times it seems like the moment you think about that, it sure seems that way toward it. Uh, you know, whenever you first started working on this, you were not really even hired to begin with. You know, what you were working on was you were actually, uh, you know, doing the studies and, and you were actually referred to somebody else to say that you were referred to the company just by that, that you know, from what you were working on. And uh, so it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, it really, that, that whenever you're hired, that's supposed to be considered a gift, right? If it's supposed to be considered a gift of exchange or something like that, or just just a gift, but like everybody else might even say that uh, whenever you are hired for any sort of job, though, that uh, you weren't to work, that uh, you know a lot of the responsibilities and a lot of the task and uh, occupation and all that stuff that you'll be in charge of, and at one o two that uh, that you know really that um, it seems like the bosses and everybody are all going to just. Uh, start giving out the orders and maybe start telling you to do this do that and all that but but on it at the same time though it's like yeah well really that um there are a lot of jobs and what we call you know for jobs and you know people may say that you know, yeah if it's affinity pro or something like that 
to where that they're going to ask you to do this, uh, do this, uh, do this, do that, or this has got to get done, or that's got to get, this has got to get done, and so really that uh, there are jobs out there to where they say that you are not uh, considered to hire yet until you complete these tasks. So it's like, yeah, you know, you are not a, a certified, uh, you know, like, yeah, certified, and um, I guess, um, I guess if that's how they, if that's how they work now, before you're actually fully hired, that you are, you know, like, yeah, before you're actually are hired, and like anybody say that whenever, you, when we talk about certified, that that, that basically means is that uh, you're the. That the team, you know, they gone through the training process or something like uh, that. Um, that uh, they already earned, uh, you know, their, you know, my like, yeah, they have already earned their awards and their licenses or something like just to work there in the field. But it's, it sure seems that way that the, each time we think about jobs, though, that uh, really, though, that um, if jobs were really that pleasant for sure, like anybody say that, you know, that, but, you know, still... You know, how can we really answer that question whenever it comes to jobs? I'm like, the jobs are what we call us to where that, you know, really, all you really, uh, you know, like me, people may say that, yeah, well, there might be some jobs out there that are available where, oh, you, what you are paid to do is that you're paid to sleep in sleeping bags or maybe to do camping, you know, uh, do camping, go on camping trips or something like that or do a, Anything, you know, maybe camping or scouting or, you know, maybe anything uh, that involves, uh, you know, maybe hiking adventures or traveling or something like that. But but the way I think about it too, though, that um, the way we think about that, that uh, before you are actually hired, that, that uh, there's going to be work that, uh, that uh, the company is going to want to do. So, so a lot of times it seems like that, uh, you know, whenever you are... Um, Whenever you are asked to do a job, though, and maybe let's just say that if you're asked to, you know, for any sort of work that you do, and that uh, people are going to maybe say is toward it, really, that, uh, you know, does that really have to be put into any sort of scenario to where that, uh, you know, I don't really know why I even signed up or why I even got this job. And like, well, the reason uh, mainly because so that, you know, yeah, the reason is... And, and I think that that's really the case, is to where that uh, they asked you, um, they asked me uh, to show them proof. Yep, and, I, and half the time it seems like everybody else would say too, that you know, what was the reason why you took the job? So that way they can see a little bit more of what I'm talking about because it's hard to describe that over the phone. It was hard to describe what I was talking about over the phone. So I had to go over there to their offices and show them what I was talking about. And uh, so it's like, yeah, show me proof. Show us proof. Uh, you know, any source of verification, you know, review, a review of what you've done already. Um, so it sure seems that we did that. A lot of times that that's usually the case too. And I could be honest with everybody here, that um, that the the main reason why they called you to come back over to the office, or the reason the main reason why they asked you to come to that meeting, was the fact about so that way they can this person that you were talking to has a better idea of what you were referring to, uh, whenever it comes to uh, improving uh, the equipment and maybe uh, the the data, you know, the the work that you do and. Um, or if anything, uh, because they say that, you know, yeah, well, the virtual cl connection, but compared to the in-person connection or something like that, by half the time, it sure seems that way, that, that whenever you do a take on a, a job opportunity, you may not see what's called, you know, a little bit, you know, the big picture, but you may not realize maybe how hard it is and how stressful it is. So it's like, uh, like everybody else may say that a lot of the jobs that you do have, Nowadays, that uh, you want to know too that you know what's one thing that's really considered your favorite. You know, besides maybe if it is a, a paycheck or something like that. But how many times are we gonna maybe say this to where you know, where you can you can share um, share your thoughts? 
share your thoughts and opinions. And like everybody else would say too, that will really, that don't always work either, but uh, still. Yeah, where you can have conversations with people and maybe, uh, so it's like, yeah, for anybody probably say too, that uh, what, are the, or what are the best ways of how to bond you know, with your job? And uh, well, I know too that, you know, really, that uh, different ways of how to explain that, but but it sure seems that way that um, that whenever you do first start working a job, though, uh, you know, new job, and maybe that whenever you first start, start uh, working on something, you may realize how uh, difficult it is. And you must say that there might be some things that are pretty, you know, simple and, you know, not so hard to contrast or anything that you, know, that you would say. But on the other hand, too, that uh, whenever we speak about jobs, though, it's like, you know, you probably would set like a nickname for them, such as as to where that before you're actually hired, you know, for what belongs to you and also talk about for Apple computers. But it sure seems that way that, um, that uh, you can't, you know, can you really, I'm like, yeah, another thing that I want to talk about is to where that, you know, you just can't say on, uh, yeah, you just maybe can't uh, Say stuff like, you know, I have done everything. So whenever we think about that, I'm like, and take a moment to think about that. To where if you say you've done everything on this job, i done everything. So if you were to say that, maybe on a job, uh, you know, you know, doing a job, I'm like, so, so yeah, a lot of times it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, why do you think that you would even say that uh, for any reason at all and let's just say that um that you know maybe if you are saying that you're done for the day and you'll be be back tomorrow or something like that and like everybody else would say too that yeah well really that uh, you've done everything for the day yeah i've done everything for the day so um but you know still it sure seems that way that every time we think about that though uh, that uh, you know really that um Whenever you do, uh, I'm like, yeah, you know, a lot of things that you were working on and all that, but half the time, it sure seems that way, that uh, do we really think about that whenever we're going to be working a job, that uh, what are the most difficult challenges whenever it comes to, uh, that if you're going to maybe even be working overtime, that uh, the things that you were working on, and uh, so far as the, the expectations and everything. And uh, people may say that, yeah, well, really, that uh, if you were to be... Uh, doing a, a job, uh, maybe uh, working on, uh, you know, yeah, equipment or a maintenance job or something like that, or maybe if you were to be putting in an application to, uh, you know, IBM or maybe over at, you know, an Apple computers, if, you know, for Macintosh and 102, that uh, if you were to be putting in any applications, that uh, then maybe you can you know talk to them about it's like you know for about the, any new job assessments or anything, but but it sure seems that way that, that you know really. But do you think that you would want to put that into a question to where that uh, you know why do you think that why what was the reason why you applied for this job? What was the reason why? But uh, still, but anything that looked appealing to you, like anybody say that you know really if all. If all you have to do, you know, all I have to do is this. I'm like, you know, if all um, I um, had um, to do was to print documents or something like that. So really, that, um, so let's just say that somebody were to tell you that, uh, you know, all you have to do and maybe put like a comma right there be between do and was or something like that. But if you were to say something like is to where all, all I had to do was uh, verify some information, sign the paperwork, print these documents out, you know, pack, you know, pack everything into a suitcase or maybe make a phone call or something like that. You know, all, you know these are like, yeah, a to-do list or something like that. You know, like a lot of times people say that's like the to-do. And, uh, you know, if you're going to go ahead and, yeah, you know, something like... Uh, yeah, put like a to-do list, like put period, you know, check, um, check the papers, check the papers, 
And then two it will be is to where that, uh, you know, um, your pack, I'm like, yeah, you know, fill um, the back, uh, fill the backpack or something like that. So it sure seems that you put the, at least two priorities up on uh, this to-do list uh, that uh, they say they keep track of. And let's just say that if you keep track of that, maybe for at least you know two or three hours or something like that. But people may say is toward it, you know, that shouldn't be that hard to do. You know, to be quiet, I'm like, yeah, I don't. But a lot of times it sure seems that way that uh, whenever you do uh, first start working a job, though, it, that you say like, you know, all I have, all you have to do. It's just uh, you put that stuff in the backpack, and but but it sure seems that way that when we speak about jobs, though, that uh, when we talk about jobs, that it's like uh, you know, do you really uh, want to think about that too much of time? To where all you have to do is uh, hold this and uh, or you know sign this or maybe uh, you know yeah something like uh, make a copies of this document or asking you to um to deliver this message or something like that so it sure seems that way that uh that you know talking about for to do's or you know list or something like that and so it sure seems that way that all these uh multitasking and um so i guess anybody say that you know the best ways of how to handle multitasking and it sure seems that way that um you know, the best way of how to handle that, you know, as we probably know, besides taking one thing at a time, you know, is that, you know, about how much of this, uh, how much are you, you know, how much can you get done? How much can you achieve within uh, that uh, 30 minutes? So, yeah, how much, and uh, like anybody say that, it's, uh, and you can go ahead and just put it to the test. You know, how much are you able to get done within 30 minutes, even though if you've done this before? So it sure seems that way. People are like, yeah, well, you know, based on your experience, because you do have experience, because I've seen it. I've seen your experience before, and, uh, you know, we like to know is to where that uh, the reason why we hired you for this job is because uh, we see something because somebody... Uh, mentioned it to where that they've seen you or they know that you're able to uh to overcome this challenge and uh, so it's like whenever it comes to the multitasking and uh you know for how can you achieve this within 30 minutes timing so at the time you want to know too that um that yeah you know uh your automatic uh so a lot of times uh, yeah based on my uh, work experience though it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, there are some things that are automatically done for you. If you put in a, if you put in at least, uh, you know, 20% of the work. And a lot, and a lot of times people may say that, that most of the time that that's usually what happens with most jobs. If you put in at least 20% of your hard work in for something, then then, uh, you know, uh, 5% of it will be taken care of automatically. So if we were to actually do the math right there in 102, uh, that uh, whenever you do put in 20%, so if that would be about maybe five hours and three days or something like that. And if you were to, you know, put in uh, more hard work into something, and a 102, that you know something about that work in progress to where that, that you know something is done automatically. And um, so that's why it sure seems that way. That a lot of computer data science though to say is to where that the computer will do that automatically for you the computer does it for you you know all you have to do is just make sure that you import them like that yeah yeah update the analysis the database and all but so so yeah a lot of stuff about the computers but uh still but um but i'm, I'm just saying right here talking about for multitasking right here but whenever it comes to applying for a job though that um that you know you want to know too that um that uh, whenever it comes to applying for the job that uh you know you're probably thinking that you know if you were you actually just applying just for practice or you know waiting for you know like yeah certain decisions that are made about who they're going to hire or maybe if we can only hire five people at a time or something like that but everybody would probably say that you know, yeah another thing that i want to mention too about is this tour 
that, you know, do you think most parents will be proud of? I'm like, yeah, be proud. Be proud just for trying. You know, be, be proud just for trying. And like everybody else would say too, uh, you know, proud just for trying. So like anybody say that, you know, any job that you do, that, uh, you know, even though if uh, the expectations maybe not have been all so great, but at the same time, it's like, you know, be, be proud of somebody just for giving it, just for trying. And But but half the time, it sure seems that way. That uh, when uh, we think about a job a lot of times, though, that uh, people might say is toward a lot of things that you may have missed about the job, uh, you know, the job, you know, the occupation, like the, the job duties on it. And, um, and a lot of times, it sure seems that way that... Um, how you're able to overcome those difficult challenges, right? And uh, that's why it sure seems that way that um, that when we speak about, uh, you know, looking at uh, companies uh, that you are familiar with and the ones that you've heard of, and, and a lot of times you want to know too, that, you know, we call the, those jobs uh, to where that, uh, you know, really, to where that, uh, that it seems like that whenever you do uh, take on a, a job opportunity, it's like, yeah, you know, for many years, uh, maybe that you were doing a babysitting job or maybe working as a freelancer worker or somebody like that, you know, doing truck driving business or something like that. And, you know, different jobs that, that, that we describe here. But um, mm -hmm. but a lot of ways, it sure seems that way that when we do think about jobs, though, and it's like you want to know, too, that uh, they can really uh, use a lot to... <laughs> Yeah, they can really take a lot of your time. So far as, uh, as uh, you know, um, the the overall expectations, you know, whenever it comes to, uh, uh, that uh, whenever it comes to uh, what was uh, expected, uh, you know, from your time and the time that you're able to provide. And um, so that's why it sure seems that way that uh, whenever we speak about jobs, though, and like 102, that, uh, you know, yeah, well, whenever we do think about jobs, that uh, what really what you know really what belongs to you that maybe that you're able to provide and um, so I really think that in a lot of ways that whenever w once you do get the job though that there's something about you uh, that you have that that the company needs and uh, I guess uh, a lot of companies would say that that that's the reason why we hired you is because of of that reason that there's something about you that that we need and. Um, and that that's why it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, the key factor matter about, remember about whenever we do uh, apply for a job and whenever we do get hired for a job, though, is to we're knowing that, um, that, you know, since you were, you know, going to school for a lot of skills or just going through training process or anything like that, and it sure seems that way to where that the first thing that you think about is, is to where a number of things are really going through my mind, really. Once you are hired for the job, and you know, by the time you do get the job, and and you want to know too, is to where that, you know, whenever everything just sort of starts happening, you know, when, you know, like, yeah, things just start happening, you know, but still, start happening, and, um, So I'm like, what, what I mean by, uh, you know, happening. What I mean by happening, though, is I mean by is this tour that uh, you now have that ability. Um, to talk, um, talk and share your, you know, talk and, and train and then talk about your your work experience, you know, stuff like that. So it, it sure seems that way that uh, each time when uh, we speak about jobs, though, uh, that uh, the first thing that's really going to come to your mind to talk about for ability. Uh, and, uh, but at the time, you're thinking, too, is to where they really, do you really want to put that into a scenario to where, you know, whenever a job that becomes, you know, real stressful and uh, you want to know, too, is to where, that uh, what's one important thing to remember about is just toward that there's something about you that, uh, that they still need and um, that they need and they're like that people say that uh, there's something something about you uh, you on your resume that uh, you know, maybe you realize that uh, you know, that's what 
the company is is needing and um so it's like um people may even say too that uh, you know whenever it comes to uh, jobs that uh what about the skills that you were born to have you know, talk about talent born to have like talent and um Skills that you were born to have, your talent. So let's just say that, um, you know, how many jobs that really pay you for that, you know, just for how you communicate with the clients and maybe with the customers or anybody that you talk to. And uh, let's just say that, uh, you know, the way that you communicate with somebody and 102 that is toward that that is something that you were born to have. And uh, that's why it sure seems that way that... Um, that, you know, people may say is toward, you know, really, you did not really sign up, you know, to be hired for this job. You know, the company found your information and uh, they asked, you know, for schedule an interview and, you know, sca I'm like, yeah, time, you know, for an assessment. And uh, so that's why it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, you want to know too is to where that, um, that whenever you do first start working a job, it's like, yeah, you know, uh, a lot of things that uh, that you maybe that you're wanting to do, and maybe a few things that uh, that you thought that you had time to you know, to do at later on time, your know, point in time too, right? But you know, a lot of times it seems like, yeah, it's all about you know that you know it took a lot longer. It took uh, you know, a lot longer than I thought. Yeah, long, a lot, uh, a lot longer than I thought. Took a lot longer than I thought. So it's like, yeah, you know. So each time we think about that, though, that um, it took a lot longer than I thought. But um, at least um, we um, got um, the job done. We got the job done. So it sure seems a lot of employers would say, too. Yeah, if they can see at least uh, 80% approval, you know, at least 80% accomplishments accomplished, and um, so people may say is toward it, yeah, for so far as accomplishes and accomplish accomplishments on for for accomplished, and um, I'll go ahead and put on here accomplished, but. Yeah, at least eighty percent of the work that had to be done from before, and then uh, you know, they was you know the for what was accomplished, right? So it sure seems that way that yeah, when we think about jobs, though, that uh, you know, when we uh, go by uh, doing the calculation by you know from before and after a lot of times, and people might even say too that if you would actually do the measures though, that uh, whenever you first start working though. It seems like as to where that you know, maybe not everybody's really going to know uh, what all that has been going on in the past couple of days that you've been working on. So that's why that they're going to ask. And maybe that that's why that, you know, yeah, you know, people get mad all the time whenever something is not working out as, as smoothly. And so that's why it sure seems that way that like almost every job uh, that you do work, it sure seems that way to where. That uh, you want to know that uh, you know if you've been with the company for at least five years and uh, want to know to her, you know, really. But still, yeah, if you've been with them, if you've been working there for at least five years and uh, want to know too, that uh, you know. But at the same time, it's like you know, five years seems like a long time. Same with fifteen or maybe twenty years or so, but still. But each time we think about any source of employment status, though, that it's like, yeah, you know, whenever you think about employment, though, that to word it, you, know, you probably would say that um, for employment, that you first start out uh, part-time, but still, like everybody else would say, too, that uh, really, um, part-time or just, uh, you know, for... You know, you were a temp, you know, I guess if you want to kind of call it the, a temporary, um, you, know, you you first start out as a temporary person, you know, just uh, 
you know, you were just uh, there for for backup or something like that, and uh, so so, you, which that usually you know, that happens. But uh, I'm like, uh, you know, yeah. Whenever you first start working a job, though, and a lot of times it sure seems that way, that uh, before that you were assigned to work this job, or before you're assigned to do uh, this or that other job, that it sure seems that way. That you first start out to where you say that you're going to go ahead and agree to work part time. And uh, a lot of everybody else would say that, uh, you know, uh, the reason for that is because if you are, maybe if you're a parent or if you are working two jobs. And, uh, but still, but on your hand too, that, uh, you know, yeah, so far as uh, the higher domain that, that uh, you know, uh, yeah, temporary job, but up to 40 to 50 hours a week. But like everybody else would say too, what, what, it, what, what would be the demand? Um, too much domain, you know, demand and the demand. I guess you've been kind of caught, you know, it's a demand, but um, yeah, 30 hours or more. Some people may even say that, you know, really, that um, 10 hours, you know, the only time, you know, 10 hours or more, the only time that maybe that the uh, that that would be measured in like in a higher domain, maybe because that you know ten hours or more, you know, especially maybe during the weekends or something like that. That if you were agreed to where that you know you work an assignment and let's just say if it takes you four days to do it, and then uh, let's just say that uh, you know they say that you know the only time maybe an extension or a grace period will be granted, you know, knowing about what would had been accomplished already, and uh, so that's why it sure seems that way. That every time I think about that, though, and like the job that I do wind up getting at some point, and like, what, what do you think that the, the demand is going to be as to where the, yo, those, the demand, what I mean by, I can go ahead and put on here, that um, a demand means is to where the uh, request, yeah, request um, for um, more um, of um, your uh, skills, um, At our uh, attention, and like anybody else, let's say too, it, it could also be by courtesy or something like that. But you know, it sure seems that way. That uh, you know, almost everybody else would say that. Would you uh, agree to where that it's about your skills and our attention? You know, yeah. Well, really, that uh, w attention pretty much means is to where that. Yeah, well, really, that you know, even though if you were already here earlier. You know, we want you to come back in and work on something. Well, I don't know how to use the keys, or I can't remember the password or something like that. So it sure seems that way that uh, when we speak about jobs, though, that a lot of times it sure seems that way. The people are saying is toward the dead. That is not on the manual. So the reason why we're asking all the time is because that, that you know, it's not on the manual. So that's why we're needing to talk to somebody with the knowledge. But on your hand, it's, it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, uh, you know, the first thing is first is that um, whenever you do it, get something to work, number one, but on your hand, it's like, yeah, for so far as employment to where that, you know, if you do, uh, you know, if we do wind up, you know, promote your work or maybe if we do, uh, you know, take interest in what you do according to your resume, for sure, like everybody else would say too, that it shouldn't be that hard to move you to move the person up to full time, and uh, so maybe that that's another reason why a lot of employers are doing it now is that they say that this is a full time job because of all the work that needs to be done, and but at at the same time, no, it's like uh, one o two that um, that whenever you do first start working a job, though, it's like yeah, well, really, you can you can take breaks, but you know, still, it's like you one o two that you. Uh, you do uh, start working on stuff that maybe that you're not quite used to doing. And um, that's why it sure seems that way. That uh, knowing about uh, when we see now hiring signs almost every, you know, anywhere where play people are hiring. And I want to know too that, you know, yeah, well, you'll figure it out, whichever. But I'm like, um, that, yeah, well, really, that uh, when, I, when I we turn in it, when we do... Um, Fill out a job application a lot of times. It sure seems that way that, um, that you know, really, that um, 
whenever you do fill out a job application, you really, uh, it seems like that you got to talk to the manager or somebody who's in charge of uh, receiving the applications, you know, like you turn in the application and let them know that it's in the inbox so that way they can go and check the, the, you know, their, their browser and their, their, their inbox and, um, so that's why it sure seems that way that, uh, whenever we speak about jobs though, that, uh, you want to know too that, um, that, uh, yeah, a few things may work a little bit different, but, you know, I, I tell you one thing that, um, that when we speak about jobs, it sure seems that way that, you know, whenever you apply for a job, it may not be something, it may not be the same position that you applied for. And then uh, that goes by the next topics to where that uh, it's not the same thing. It's not what you applied for from earlier, but if they tell you that there's another opening and uh, so it's like, yeah, there's an opening for another opportunity that's available. And um, so that's why it sure seems that way that, you know, yeah, whenever you do uh, apply for a job, though, it's like, yeah, a lot of things that you may have missed about it that, uh, you know, yeah, well, anything that you may have missed about it. But I'm like, well, really, the purpose about the job, though, is to work that, yeah, you know, Getting um, to um, know um, the task, task and responsibilities But on your hand too, I'm like how many employers have really Yeah, has anybody really asked you to work that uh, whenever you do uh, Work a job though, and your 102 is toward it. Uh, you know, uh, do you think that uh, in order to be able to stay employed with the say through the same employer for at least a year, what do you think would be the, the, the biggest accomplishments? And you know, about that, you know, do you think, uh, you know, do you, you know, do you really think a lot of it has to do with the fact about is toward that, you know, the flexibility or maybe courtesy and you know, showing up to work on time, you know, that, that sorts of stuff, and that, that sorts of, of explanation or anything, but uh, the way I think about too, though, that, um, that whenever we do uh, think about jobs, though, is to where the, what the company sees, you know, the work that you do, and um, so it's like, yeah, for what belongs to you, and you might tell them that, you know, what really belongs to me, though, is the fact about that if I were to do research, and uh, yeah, if you tell them that, uh, you know, my research. Yeah, but my research, you know, the things that you were working on, uh, you know, while, while you're at home, while you're at home and then you, uh, you go to work and then you tell them, you know, uh, of uh, if you tried this or if you tried that or something like that. And uh, so it sure seems that way that, um, that a lot of times it's like whenever you do... Uh, work a job a lot of times it sure seems yeah and then plus uh whenever somebody asks i'm like yeah you know if it's favors or maybe if it's uh, anything uh about what you call it good uh you know yeah positive you know add to or something like that. but yeah you know, but it sure seems that way that you know, most most jobs though that um uh, as we know that and like if you're going to be uh, applying you know for any sorts of job doing any sorts of job assessments though and that, you know, how well are you able to overcome your challenges? Do um, you um, overcome your most um, difficult challenges? And it sure seems that way that... Um, yeah, you know, most of the time people may say that that's whenever it's time to take a break from what you're working on, but I, at the same time, you no, know, it's like, yeah, well, really, that uh, that uh, what's the most important thing to remember about uh, you know uh, about uh, overcoming those most difficult challenges is toward that to make and make the you know make the other person feel more confident. So yeah, kind of confident. What I mean by that is to where, yeah, you know, if you, 
you know, if you do enjoy uh, making somebody else uh, feel appreciated, and then, uh, you know, talk about, yeah, for a gift of, of appreciation, right? So it sure seems that way that, um, yeah, you know, and most of the time, you know, confident and appreciated them. So it sure seems that way that, um, that whenever, you know, you, yeah, compliments, if you want to kind of call them compliments, So it sure seems that way that um, that whenever you do start working and uh, it's like yeah you know do you do we want to think about that you know a lot of times is that uh, when we think about a job though and let's just say you know maybe after um, yeah all about the wondering and all that but still you know, after about maybe five hours of after you worked your long uh, you know shift at work and uh, one oh two is to where. That, uh, really, that, um, you know, uh, what your signs, I'm like, yeah, you know, from four hours ago, that, uh, you know, were you really, uh, you know, so far as your expectations about everything that you had to do, right? So it sure seems that way, that, uh, whenever you first start working a job, a lot of times, it's like, you know, the first thing, uh, you know, a lot of times, it seems like that that's usually the case, that, um, you're going to have stressful situations, and you're going to have those situations to them. Like, you know, so, so yeah, whenever you're going to be working a job, though, but still, it sure seems that way that uh, whenever you do uh, work a job, that people may say is toward it, you know, really, you didn't really sign up for it. You know, what you really did was is that you were actually, um, you know, uh, you whenever you first... Uh, got hired to work there for the company you know, that what you were actually were doing was that, that you you were actually you know asked to take care of something important and um so like everybody else would say that you know, you would maybe i'm like yeah ask uh to um take um of uh, something important so yeah so it sure seems that way that um, whenever we do speak about jobs a lot of times and want know that, um, you know, yeah, you know, by the time you are hired and before you actually are hired, that uh, you're thinking as to where that, uh, you know, really, why did I even get this job? And uh, But people may say as to where that really, that, uh, Oh, because we still need you. <laughs> oh, because that, that there's something about you that uh, we still are trying to understand. And um, so it sure seems that way that people may say that, yeah, we got a number of clients and customers who still say that, you know, we still need it. <laughs> so it sure seems that way that until that comment goes eyes to where, yeah, you know, we still need it. <laughs> Yeah, we still need it. You know, we still need that. We still need it. We still need those. So it sure seems that way that, you know, yeah, talk about for any source dash or quotes or anything, but, you know, we still need it, that, those, or I can maybe I can put a backspace right there and put, you know, and if I want to put, uh, you know, uh, if I can maybe put that it, that, those, and, um, you know, or, um, or them, or, I'm like, yeah, them, or something, so, so, yeah, so, I can, yeah, them, and then also, um, advanced training, or something like that, so, so, yeah, that's, uh, advanced work, high-tech work, or something like that, but, anyway, but, but it sure seems that way, that every time we think about a job, though, it's like, you know, people may want to know, too, that, uh, you know, uh, a, lot, a lot of times, you know, any source of appreciation, but a lot of times it's like, yeah, well, really, that, uh, you know, we still need it. Well, you know, nope, we can't get rid of it right now, you know, because we, we still need it. And um, so it sure seems that way that, uh, that when we look at our job performances, though, and it sure seems that way that if you look back maybe six weeks later, and at 102 is to where that, uh, yeah, really, that, um, 
You know, are you going to maybe ask that question to where it, uh, you know, I don't get it. I don't get it. You know, uh, like according to what the, the paper said, or according to uh, what the, the contract said, or according to what the application said, was is that, you know, yeah, you agree. I'm like, yeah, so temporarily or something, but, but still. But a lot of times it's like, yeah, well, what don't you get? Well, you know, I'll get it more when you explain. I'm like, oh, yo, well, I'll get, I get um, what you mean. I get what you mean once um, I uh, realize. Once I realize what um, has um, been going on. You know, what has been done, you know? So it's like, what's been going on, what has been done? Yep, and I and half the time I could be honest with everybody here too. That uh, you know, yeah, to go back and review and all the things that you know, that you've been working on, you know, even as a team and and you're one oh two this toward it, uh, you know, uh, does it really take a vote, you know, just to be able to keep the process going or anything like that? But like everybody else would say too, that uh, you know, whenever you do take on a a job opportunity and half the time it seems like that you do you really have to read uh, all the information about what's been going on uh, from the past uh, six weeks or something like that for the past month and um maybe past year and why know that uh you know why know that you know yo well whenever you first start working the job and all and like but at the same time that um somebody might even say that um that hey you know should you be proud of what you've been able to work out, you work on, and, uh, you know, what you've been able to do, and, um, even though if not everything was, you know, as expected, but, you know, still, the best accomplishment is knowing that, that you tried, right, and, um, you know, do you think that you should, uh, be proud just for trying, and, uh, also on your hand as to where that, you know, maybe a lot of people will actually see what you've been working on, you know, what's been done, you know, but, anyway, um, but another way of how you want to call it is like, yeah, yeah, the next chapter. <laughs> the next chapter, and, um... So people may say it's toward it, yeah, yeah, the next chapter. The next chapter seems to be, you know, uh... Like people may say, the next chapter is, uh... Sounds a little bit more exciting. You know, the next chapter. Okay, what... What happens next? <laughs> what now? <laughs> But at the same time, it's like, yeah, the next chapter would also be about as to where that uh, the new coming soon advanced technology or that, yeah, well, this is what happens next. Is that, uh, you know, yep, you know, by, by next year, then, then you could be eligible, you could be qualified uh, for what the, the company provides. You know. But the way I think about it, too, though, that, um, that uh, whenever we do speak about jobs a lot of times, that, uh, you know, just think about that to where... That, uh, you know, uh, is it really about the fact about that uh, what you are telling, uh, you know, that uh, people are able to see what you've been working on, you know. But anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.